jokes right there. Yes. Yeah, so the good people over at Arteria, who are in fact involved with the 40k giveaway, just sent me through one of their MIDI keyboards. It's the Keylab Essential 49. This isn't a sponsored video, they just sent me this thing through. And yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to Arteria for sending this through, man. I used Prod by Jack's mini Keylab MIDI controller when we went to the Airbnb session. Really liked how that thing felt, so yeah, I'm excited to use this thing. But anyway, yeah, welcome back to another video. My name is LLB, I hope you're all having a really, really good day. And today, man, I'm just going to be cooking up. I'm just going to make a really vibey beat. I'm not too sure what I'm going to make yet, but you probably would have seen it in the title anyway by the time you clicked on this video. Because I haven't had like a nice full-sized key MIDI controller, I've kind of swayed away from recording stuff in live, you know, using an actual keyboard. But since I've got this, I can actually go in and do that again, you know, I can I can just go in and just record stuff live. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing, man. Make a vibe loop, turn it into a heartbeat, show you guys all the source, show you exactly what I'm doing to get the end product. And yeah, just go from there. And let's just get into this one. All right, man. So yeah, I pulled up Analog Labs. I think this thing's actually compatible with Analog Labs. I don't think I've set it up properly yet, but I'll do it. I'll do it later on. But yeah, I'm gonna come in with some quick chords and fill in something like more like melodic R&B style today. Let's try that. Something like that. Okay, I'm just gonna repeat that. And then in this second section, I'm just gonna add like some inversions and just make it a little bit different. Okay, I'm just gonna put this into the mixer, add some RC20 to it. All right, nice, 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 nice. So I think next thing I'm gonna come in with is like just some layer. I'm literally just gonna copy and paste those keys and just switch the sound up for like some kind of soft pad or something like that. I'm gonna come in with the Mellotron, I think, for this pad. Let's try that. For Kind of nice. Yeah, that's nice straight away. Just gonna add some EQ to that. And then add some reverb to it as well. Some shaper box and just pan it from left to right. Turn it down a little bit. Alright, cool. So I've got the chords down. I'm just going to put a little top melody in. I'm just going to lay some like piano notes down or something like that. Okay, I think I've got something for this. All right, that's sounding good. I think I'm just gonna put in like a, like a female vocal chop or something like that. Something like nice and atmospheric. I've been thinking about you. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, that could work actually. 
got like an EDM kind of vibe to it, but I think that could work. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, I'm just gonna add this to the mixer, just just soften it up with like some EQ, some reverb. Okay, nice. I'm just gonna bounce that out as like one wave file. Maybe like reverse it. I'll do something else with it just to you know, just make it seem more like atmospheric. I'm just gonna reverse it. Oh, that's nice. Okay, cool. One last thing for this melody. I think it's just a guitar. Nice little like simple guitar riff, and then we'll be good to go with the drums. Okay, this is sounding good, man. I'm just gonna put some drums on this now. All right, cool. Just gonna put a snare in as well. Okay, cool. Let's just go with the let's go with the hi hat next. I'm just gonna add some chops in as well. I'm gonna add some like dead low hi hats in this pattern just to give the hi hat a nice undertone. Chop this one right here, a little choppy like that, and then just fade it out like crazy. Woo! Nice, and I'm just gonna repeat that across on this side. Nothing too crazy, it's quite it's kind of upbeat, so I don't want to do like too many chops. Keep it simple. Okay, open hat. Simple, simple, simple open hat. Yeah, just that. And then uh, an 808. I think we all know what's going to go sound good on this man. That hypnosis 808. This one right here. Nice and punchy. Okay, now it's away, I'm just gonna add like a little bit of variation in the second half, in this second half right here. You know what, I think I might just slow this down a touch, just literally by like 2 or 3 BPM. Just sounds a little bit rushed. Ok, 
Okay, one last thing. One last thing I think is a kick. And then we're going to be done. I'm basically just going to copy the same pattern as the 808. Maybe take a few hits out here and there. So I'm just going to come in. I'm just going to come into the 808 pattern right here. Copy, paste. Make sure everything is hitting on C. Break right there. Yeah, that beat was kind of hitting nice, man. I, I like those simple drum patterns over melodies like this, you know, like nothing too crazy. Just let the melody do all the speaking. But yeah, you guys let me know what you think of this beat down in the comments. Simple is normally the best way. Unless you're doing like a proper beat, battle style beat, then simplicity is the key, man. That's where you can catch a nice vibe. If you made it to the end of the video, good news, because I've literally just heard back from the company that I was waiting for. And I'm good to go ahead with the 40k giveaway. So the next video is going to be the 40k giveaway announcement. Oh. Can't wait, man. Can't wait for you guys to hear what's up for grabs for this contest. But yeah, that's going to be it for today. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure you leave a subscribe. I hope you guys have a great, great day. And I'll see you in the next one.